It's a brand new episode of Get Inspired with Jason, the podcast and YouTube show. I know you're probably stuck at home. Maybe you're driving to work. Nonetheless, most of us around the world are facing a quarantine. We can't do much and it sucks. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about different healthy habits that you can implement into your life to live a happy and healthier life. And today, to really bring an awesome expert to really dive deep into this subject, I brought holistic nutrition and fitness coach, Lauren Pappas. How are you? Hey, Jason. I'm doing great. How are you doing? Very, very good. Very blessed. Uh, what a crazy time we're facing. And, and I know you and I have chatted. We've known each other for many years uh, about all the madness that is going on. But, you know, like yourself and, and a lot of people that you help, everyone is actually thriving on our tribes, right? Which is a great thing. Yes. So, yeah. So that's a great thing. I, I want you to just break down for me, if you don't mind, and I'm looking at our show notes, uh, whether people are watching on YouTube or listening on the podcast. Um, you mentioned you want to break down, you know, why this is such a great time and we should look at this as a gift to better ourselves. Let's talk a little bit more about that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's so easy to get caught up in this and, you know, go down this uh, rabbit hole of negativity but we really should be looking at this as an opportunity to better ourselves, to become a healthier version of ourselves. If we have bad habits, if we eat unhealthy, if we don't exercise, use this as a time to reassess your health and your entire life and implement healthy habits into your daily routine, not just now, but like for the rest of your life. Look at this as a reset. We might never have this opportunity again to have so much time on our hands to make ourselves the person that we really want to be. Absolutely. Absolutely. And then that's the thing. What better time than now to, to get so disciplined in whatever things you've been holding back or kind of putting on the shelf and doing it now. So why don't you tell the audience, what are some things that we can really cultivate during this time? How can we apply ourselves? And most importantly, uh, how do we get our, our brains connected with our bodies to, to actually make it happen and not be lazy. Yeah. I like to start off every day with prayer, meditation, some yoga, gratitude, like these simple things. And you don't have to implement them all at once, but like maybe tomorrow you just start off your day before you get out of bed by just thinking about all the things that you're grateful for. And then maybe the next day you start to implement some stretches and yoga. And like, this is the way that I start off my day every day, prayer, gratitude, meditation, yoga. And it really sets my, it sets the precedence for the day. You know, it sets the tone for the day where I start off on the right foot and I feel happy and I feel grateful and I'm looking at the positive and I'm, I'm always looking as this time is an opportunity. And I, I'll admit in the beginning, this was hard for me. I think it was hard for us all because it was an adjustment, but I couldn't live in the negative and it made me sad to, to be depressed and anxious. And I kind of got rid of that. And now I'm doing all these things that I've been wanting to do for so long. I have all this time on my hands and Honestly, every day I've been busier than ever. I've been just as busy as I was before this all started because I just had to change my routine and start to do new things um, that wasn't, you know, I'm also a DJ. It wasn't DJing at a club. It wasn't going to the gym, but it was finding a way to continue to do those things and continue to find new things that I've been wanting to explore. So I, you just got to look at it as an opportunity. Yeah, what, what, what would you tell people that are kind of in a hole, meaning, um, you know, they're watching the news left and right, they're getting depressed. I want you to share some of the corona ICU, ICU statistics from the CDC as well. Uh, what do you tell people that are just, no matter, mind you, you know, I, I do guided meditations for my clients, we do journaling, we do mindset coaching, and that's great and all, but the rest of the population, I want to hear about your how you're helping others, how, what's helping you, and why should we not live in fear? Let's talk about some stats as well. Yeah, so this is a statistic from the CDC, Morbidity and Mortality. It's a weekly report, and it's from March 31st. 
And they reported that 78% of all ICU patients with COVID-19 had some sort of an underlying health condition. So like number one being diabetes, 32% of these people that were in the ICU had diabetes, then cardiovascular disease, chronic lung disease, weakened immune systems. Um, so that should be a wake up call for all of us. Knowing that, knowing that when you have an underlying health condition, you become more vulnerable for other uh, viruses and infections. It's going to be harder for you to fight those things off. So that's why focusing on your health right now should be your top priority because this virus isn't going away anytime soon. It's going to be sticking around for a while until they find a vaccine. And even at that, who knows? So to use this time as an opportunity to reassess your health. I think that's so important. Um, I really do think having a daily routine is going to give you structure and it's going to give you guidance. Um, I would say nutrition is the most, one of the most vital things about life, you know, like what, what you eat can heal you, what you eat can kill you. So every single time you eat, think about, is this something that's going to better my life? Or is this something that's poisonous, that's, that's potentially going to make me sick and not be healthier? We need to think about food that way. It's really important because it's the foundation of our lives. Absolutely. And, and obviously, you know, like I'm looking at the show notes here, you have, uh, you know, we want to focus not only on exercise and eating healthy, but foods that can heal and foods that can kill, like you mentioned, but also eating uh, sugar and processed foods that lower our immunity and lead to diseases like type two diabetes. See, here's the thing, and, and I'm, I'm anxious and excited for your response. Isn't it ironic that sometimes we wait as humans for the worst things to happen to want to better ourselves, right? Yes, yeah. So what do you tell somebody that is, like I said, in a major funk, they're like, okay, fine, I gotta do a routine, I know I gotta you know, eat better and exercise, but what would, if you were to give like the, the, the biggest wake up call in how to do this, like what would be your go-to? Uh, Cause I motivate my clients in this particular way. I wanna know what, what do you, what, what would you entice people? What, what should people be most excited about to wanna change, I guess? Well, I would say number one, that this is going to end eventually. Mm -hmm. We don't know when it's going to end, yeah. but if you think about the fact that this is such, you really got to look for the rainbow in this storm, right? Like this is such a unique opportunity that we have all this time on our hands. Y you can, you know, keep trying. And if you mess up, it's okay. Like you have more opportunities. We're going to be home for a while. Yeah. Um, I would say that um, I, you know, with, with myself, I think about my family, I think about my future and I think about how I want to be, you know, 10 years from now and that I want to live a long life and I want to be around for my grandkids. And I think people need to start being selfless and thinking about their families because you need to not only be good for yourself, but for, for your family too. Like you need to be an example. If you have children, you're going to be their biggest example. They don't teach nutrition in schools, at least not the schools that I went to. And I went to some nice schools. This is not something that they're spending time on, even with our doctors when they go to medical school. They get something like one course or, you know, it's just like a couple hours of nutrition. When that is the most important thing, because it's going to make us sick or it's going to make us a better, healthier version of ourselves. So we really have to to think about that and take that seriously. And, you know, if, if you're not going to do it for yourself, then by golly, do it for your family, you know, just do it because you will be, you know, you'll be kind of a burden on the health system. If you don't take care of yourself, especially during this time. I mean, there's a lot of people that have health conditions that could have been prevented if they had taken ca better care of themselves. And now, you know, it's, it's an unfortunate situation, but a lot of these people are in the hospitals right now when I don't think that they would have been if they had taken better care of themselves in the first place. And not be so careless, you know, and, and it's ironic, you know, who would ever think what, four or five months ago that having to do normal things that most people do, you would think washing their hands, right? 
coughing into their elbow, not just out, you know. It's crazy to me to think that all the things we should have been doing, a lot of people clearly were not. And, and it's, it blows my mind, like when you do the stats on how many people die of obesity each year, how many people die of, of, of HIV, right? But because this is such a new thing, it is obviously a new virus, everybody goes into panic mode, which is, I get it. But use this time, like you're saying, to really work on the things you haven't been working on to better yourself. So by the time we get out of this, you not only are healthier, you're more positive, and who knows, you might create the coolest, coolest invention that you ever thought of. I mean, I don't know if you read much on history. Look at Einstein. Look at people in the past depression that we've been in. They, some of the biggest billionaires in the world, wealthiest people, they came up with these ideas in the dark, right? Because they're like losing their minds. So it's like, use your time wisely. And if you choose not to use this time wisely, then that's on you, right? It's the same thing with food. You want to be vulnerable to sickness. You may not have corona now, but you better start doing something about it, right? And, and I get it every day, you know, like I tell people, watch the news, be alert, but don't get consumed, right? There's, they're saying some people, half of the people don't even have any symptoms. Now they're saying it could be, you know, do that diarrhea, it could be this, it could be that. We don't know, but all we can do is make the choice, take the stand. So go ahead, Lauren, tell us real quick. I know I'm looking at the show notes. You wrote down some cool things that we can do, healthy daily habits that you recommend we practice on a daily basis. So go ahead and share those with us. Yeah, again, and, and these are things that I do myself. So I know that they work. I've done them for years. And especially right now, I'm using them every single day because yeah. I have that extra time on my hands. But I love to start off my day with prayer, gratitude, giving gratitude, with stretching, doing yoga, just movements that make me feel better because I've been cramped up sleeping all night. Uh, but, you know, again, good for your body and then good for your brain. So mentally and physically, you're taking care of yourself off the bat. Um, exercise. Every single day, I do some form of exercise, whether it's body weight exercise. I love going outside. I'm in the country, so I am able to actually do that right now. Um, drinking water, staying hydrated, eating healthy. Number one, the most important thing that you could possibly do is eat healthy, getting lots of rest, um, vitamin D uh, from the sunshine, going outside, how that can help you with depression. Yeah. And also with fighting infections and fighting um, viruses, because the vitamin D is going to strengthen our immune system. We need to think about that and think about, you know, if we eat unhealthy, that's going to take a toll on our immune system. And right now, you need to have the strongest immune system possible. And of course, limiting your news watching because that's only going to bring us down. We need to stay informed, but try to limit it to, you know, a couple minutes a day. Um, laughing. I've been watching a lot of funny movies and funny shows. And if you're lucky enough to be with your family right now, embrace them and take this time as an opportunity to reconnect with them and do things with them. Um, you know, I'm, I'm here at home with my family and my dad's a musician. And so me and my sister are doing backup vocals for my dad. We're doing open mic night every week and we work on a song and we practice it. And um, it's, you know, it's so much fun. And it's been such a great bonding experience to do something so different. Also something that takes me out of my comfort zone because I'm, you know, I'm, I was scared of singing. So this is sort of, um, you know, broken that fear. And I love to live like that. I always like to do things that scare me and then prove to myself that I can do them. And that really, it was all in my head. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, at the end of the day, look, Lauren, life, as we all know, life is short and it goes by so quickly. And sometimes we have to ask ourselves during this time, is it all these things that I was worried about before, whether it was money, whether it was this, was it, did I really need to stress out about that? You know, a lot of times we've been stressing so much. You know, half of the death, people that pass away, it, they cause their own death, right? We are our own best doctors. And, and uh, 
you know, before I, I let you go, uh, because I'm so grateful for the opportunity to have just for you to say, yes, let's rock this out. Let's do this podcast. Um, I want you to, in, in 30 seconds, uh, tell me about you and your family's uh, health shop. Uh, because uh, I know you guys, I believe, are available online. So tell us a little mm -hmm. bit more about it for anybody that's watching or listening right now, how they can uh, get some of your products to make them feel better and get more healthy. Yes, um, my family owns a health food store. It's Earth Foods, and we have an online store. And you can go to our website and you can shop in different categories. Um, for example, if you were you know, had diabetes and you needed different supplements for diabetes, we have that. We have stuff for the common cold, stuff for immunity, stuff for Lyme disease. And it's all, you know, in categories at the top. Um, also on the website is a video for pretty much each category that I've done with my dad, who is a, P has a PhD in nutrition and has been my biggest inspiration um, as far as, you know, taking care of my health and respecting my body. So, um, all, I love supplements. I've been taking them since I was little for different things. And all those, all, all that stuff is available. Our family Earth, uh, family website is www.earthfoods.us. Um, and like I said, there's videos on there too of stuff that I've done with my dad and um, him explaining how to treat these different various viruses or conditions through supplementation and through just, you know, natural interventions, like just taking care of yourself. That's awesome. That's Caliente. And big shout out to your dad uh, for being such an inspirational uh, person, father to you and to uh, now having his daughter uh, being on the show, Get Inspired, because you, Lauren Pappas, are a true inspiration. I'm going to put the links to your family's website, your social media. Everybody go follow Miss Lauren she is a living, breathing superstar because she comes from the heart. Stay tuned. Thank you, Laura. Oh, sorry, Laura. Lauren, Jesus. That's my next interview. Jesus. <laughs> Lauren, from the bottom of my heart, you are uh, such a kind soul, and I can't wait till this is over so I can give you a big hug like that. <laughs> oh, well, I'm giving you a big virtual hug, too, and you are such an inspiration to me and to so many people out there, and I'm grateful that you had me on your show and that you're doing this because through everything, you are always the most positive person who is looking for the bright side of things and you always turn everything into a great opportunity. So you are a wonderful example during this time of what people should be doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nothing but love, nothing but love. Uh, thank yeah. you Lauren, so much. Uh, if you guys have any questions on this episode, please feel free to leave us a comment. And we might actually just do an IGTV to do a follow-up. Thank you for, uh, for, again, being on the show. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Thanks, guys. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're a new viewer. And don't forget to click on the bell so you can get notifications every time a new show releases. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and feel free to leave your comments. I'm Jason Roselle, and you're watching Get Inspired with Jason.